Nissan Motor Company is marking its 80th anniversary with Nissan 360. It's a month-long showcase of the latest breakthroughs in vehicle technology, sustainability, and market expansion by one of the world's leading automotive groups. The full lineup of Infinity vehicles is on display. Journalists will get a chance to experience Nissan cars on a performance track. Trucks will be put through their paces on an adventure course. The Datsun Go has made the trip to Southern California from India, where it recently launched, as well as other vehicles representing the global marketplace. If you don't have brand power, you will never become a leading player in an industry. You can maybe with price positioning or being the only one having the right car at the right moment, you can get to a certain level of share and maybe a little bit of profit. But to become truly profitable and to become uh, truly leading and 8% share, which is our target, uh, you need to have a, a brand that's very desirable. The company is showing off not only an extensive lineup of new models, but also some iconic and memorable vintage Nissan and Infiniti vehicles. This also marks the first time ever so many of the company's concept vehicles are on display under one roof. These vehicles hint toward an exciting, evolving future for design, technology and innovation. Many of these concept cars you see uh, here at the event um, are actually studies into something that we are going to really do. Um, so they are not just uh, pie-in-the-sky dreams, they, they are real. The first ever Nissan 360 event was nine years ago in San Francisco. Then the theme was turnaround and recovery. Four years later, Nissan 360 in Portugal focused on a growing global presence. This year, the company has focused on individual brands, Nissan as a global powerhouse, Infiniti's product and market momentum, the emergence of the new Datsun, and the continued growth of the light commercial vehicle group. When we started about a year ago, we were looking at uh, places to do this, and then we found this abandoned uh, airfield. And to come here today and to see all the different tracks that we have built, the commercial vehicle track, off-road track, high-performance track, autonomous driving track, um, and, uh, and this venue is pretty amazing. We basically transformed a, a piece of concrete into a, a, a little Disney world for car lovers.